Hey folks, welcome back. Another beautiful day out here, fall day nonetheless, but what we're doing today is plugging away on our sawmill shack. Now, as you can see, I've got all the joists in place. Last day, you probably saw me do a bit of milling. I was milling a big beam for the top of that uh, two posts there. I also have these, uh, what are these, two by eights, I guess. I've got these two by eights here, and that's a true two inch by eight inch. I'm going to sandwich a piece of plywood in between them today and put some adhesive on there and that's going to end up making a beam one of two for the top of those back posts so you can see there we'll have a beam from that post to that one then the one beside it to the other one so that'll make up the back and what we also have to do is take that big boy and get it over here that has to go way up on top of that post there and this one beside me and so in order for that to happen i gotta first get it off the mill and I can't even come close to lifting that thing. I've just sort of wrangled it off there with the cant hook. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna do what any person would do who maybe doesn't have all the equipment at hand that maybe would make that job easier. They'll use what they have. I'm gonna use the winch on my ATV and I'm gonna to tow it a little bit. And a wise person once told me, it's not stupid if it works. And I think this, this should work. And if it doesn't work, well, then probably it'll be stupid. Regardless, we're going to make it work with that winch. We'll pull it over here, get it off the mill. I got to mill one more thing. And what that is, is I decided to add a second post. Okay, so from this post to this post is 20 feet. And uh, I was originally going to run a beam the entire length of that. But uh, I just thought, you know what? I'm never going to mill a log that is that big. And so I'm going to add a third post, I should say. The post is going to be about three feet over that way. And all it's going to do is reduce the span here. 20 feet is quite big considering the amount of snow load we get around here and it's also a very big uh, big job for me to get a, a beam up that high that's you know 22 feet long after you consider the overhang so I'm gonna add one more post and that extra post will just shorten the span the span will be covered by that big beam over there I think in total we'll have an opening of about 14 feet and that'll be perfect because I normally cut you know less than 12 feet and uh that should be that so we'll see how far we get today we've got a lot of things on the go here the weather hasn't really been cooperating the last little while we've had lots of rain and believe it or not the snow the s word has actually hit just north of here so we'll uh we'll see how far we get anyways glad you guys are all along and let's see how this works
So at this point of the game, guys, what I'm doing is I'm boxing in the post, and you guys can just see I'm putting a uh, piece of wood here that goes between both joists, and I'm also putting a piece that uh, goes between the rim board and the other other piece I put in, and that just more or less gives me a lot of nailing edge to make sure that the post is fully secured. Is it overkill? It might be, but uh, keep in mind there's no concrete foundation, so these posts are not anchored down to the ground, so you want to make absolutely certain that they're uh, secured well to the base, uh, in this case a wood platform. So that's why I'm doing that, that's what you see me nailing here. Now one other thing I didn't mention about these blocks I'm putting in here around the post is that if the floorboards are going to run this way, which they are, you're going to need a nailing edge to nail the floorboard too and that's what this block acts as. So giving that extra little support to the post in addition to somewhere to nail the floorboard so you don't have a floating section about 8 inches long.
boy. Well, must be getting tired because my nail driving skills are going downhill real quick. As you guys see behind you there, I think we got this project licked. Well, at least the platform licked. It is just about time for coffee o'clock here. But before I get there, I just want to show you around. Have a good look there. Looks pretty good, eh? So that's going to be the platform for the sawmill. Now, I'd be lying to you guys if I told you that I thought we were actually halfway. In reality, we're probably a little less than halfway. I know this took some effort, but to be honest with you, having my feet planted on the ground was pretty easy. Nailing off these boards, doing the joists and the deck boards and everything else was pretty straightforward. Where most of my effort goes in is probably going to be in the roof structure, and this is going to be a 612 pitch. And up there, on top of the beam, will be right around 12 feet. So this is going to be a bit of a jungle gym endeavor. Regardless, looking at what we've got accomplished today, we've got our deck boards down. They range from 4 to 6 inches in width. And we've also got the back beams up. Now we just have to deal with the front beams. Now there's that big boy there, and there's this little one right here. As you guys can see, and if you look way up there, no, even higher, wrong way, up there, you guys can see the big opening there for the big beam and the gap there between those two posts for the small beam. Now, come on back down here because I want to show you guys something. This is a small beam. And if you would have seen my most recent video or one of them, you would have noticed that this was green or was living and is now green. And hence, it's quite heavy. And just to show you how heavy it is, check this out. Okay, you can tell a piece of lumber has a bit of weight in it when it makes a good thumping. This is going to be a bit of a job to get it up there on top of those posts. So that's sort of what we're up against. That's going to be the next big endeavor for me. And I think in order for that to get accomplished and accomplished safely, I got to get this old structure out of the way. So if you guys come back next time, I'm going to be trying to figure out a plan to get everything moved out of the way because I need to get in here. I need to work. I don't want to get snagged up on the old structure. And surely if I were to drop that and it hits the old structure, well, the old structure will probably break. So we got to get this out of the way. That's going to be the next job. And once it's out of the way, and I can figure out some sort of rigging to get that up on top of there. And for those of you who suggested my tractor, I'm sort of headed that way. However, my tractor will only lift to right around nine feet. And if we have a look here, I'm standing probably about a foot and a half off the ground. And these posts are 11 feet to the top. That is nowhere near nine feet. So we got to figure out something. It's got to be safe. It's got to get done. I just don't know what it is. So anyways, that's going to be next time. As I mentioned, the sun's setting. I'm getting hungry and I'm also itching for a coffee. So I'm going to head out of here. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in with me every single week. Come on back next time and we'll sure to be up to something. See you guys then. Bye.